Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Alrighty, so I brought one in here. A fella brought it in and said, yeah, I think it's the carburetor, um, the pull recoil broke, and blah, 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 blah. That's what he said. Alrighty then, let's look. Now, what's the first thing you notice in that picture? A breaker bar. I couldn't even get it to move. Finally got this on it. Man, she's, she's starting to move. So, you get some tri-flow in there. I can probably now since I've broken it bit free get this now that we got that we'll put that half mill on that half mill as in Milwaukee. Uh, the tri flow. <laughs> Get her all lubed up. Since we're doing that, we might as well hook a sparky spider in there. You know what I mean. J -j 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 Jelly bean. Okay, here's the deal. You remember that show? Name that tune. I can name that tune. We're going to do that. We're going to name that D A T, name that tune. That way they can't copyright me or nothing. I'm going to give you some lyrics. And you guys are going to guess what song it is. Should see some spark action right in here. We got two sparking hot. Name that tune. Here's the lyrics. Here are the lyrics. You guys gotta name that T. 
tune. Maybe. Could we have kippers for breakfast? Name that tune. If nobody gets it, I'll add some more lyrics to it in the next video. Could we have kippers for breakfast? Name that tune. Okay. We got some spocky. Walky. Now we need some compressionis. And hope we don't find what we found in the last one. We do the bottom. It's gonna be kind of a wet check. Cause I sprayed the tire tri flow in the whole hole. You know, no. I am zero. Make sure you in the picture. Felt like it had something. Look at there, 120 on the bottom. 120. Zeroed out. Let's see what we get on the top. We get about 120. About 124. So we got good compression. So now Good spark. We got good compression this. So the next step I think is put these plugs L77 JC4s and I think I'm gonna hook some gas to it and get it in the tank and just see what it do or don't do. Put the little Rolly on us in there. Hook it up. And see what we get. Jesus, look at that. Looky, looky, looky. The spark plug is rusty. You're the sandy paper. Put it down. Put it down. The dielectric. On the ceramic. On the tip. Okay, so what we've got going is this thing's got a gonna need a new pull cord as well. Oops. That's why boots have 
That's not in there. Well, I'll get the spark plug boot straightened out, then I'll get the recoil off, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to attempt to drill start this motor, because I got the recoil starter off right now, and if this thing ain't going to run, I'm going to have to take the carburetor, which means I would have to take the recoil starter back off. So I'm just going to see what it'll do. Interesting. Look at that. Now, it's time to get the carby off. Okay, so I loosened these screws. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, carbonators. A little bit of water in there, that's for sure. tell the way it was beading up there. She has some water in there. Not too bad. I found the boogers! There's the boogers. There's the boogers. There's the salt and the booger. I found the boogers! All right. I changed a set of guitar strings last night. Now, I got them cobby cleaners and what I told you name that tune could we have kippers for breakfast name that tune there it's open Okay, we got the uh, card back on, and we're going to give it a go, put a new pull cord on the uh, recoil starter, and let's see what we get. Shouldn't have to choke her because I filled her full of triflo. So she's going to smoke, no doubt. <laughs> Not as bad as Forward.
now you saying? What's he got in that pot? I bet it's some crab. Maybe a big thing of shrimp. Maybe shrimp and crab. Well, let's, let's go look. i show you what's in the pot. What you got in that pot. Ready? Yummy. Boiled peanuts. See all that seasoning? Uh-huh. We're gonna stir that around. Look at the size of them goobers. These come from the great state of Florida. Some seasonings, some salt, and boil them for a long time on my crab cooker. Yummy. Had a guy bring me a motor and he says it runs fine but um, when we put it in gear nothing happens it don't go because when we turn the handle it don't go I said well did you hit something with the propeller no no we were just running around in the, in the harbor just running around in the harbor. Let's look. I show you. I show you. Then I want to show you a couple others that I took in today. Here's the engine in questionis. It is a Tohechu. Little eight horsepower. Don't hate you. And I sold him the motor. And he said when it would go in gear, or when they put it in gear, it wouldn't go. So what I did was I came up here and I grabbed the gear shift and I put it in gear. And when I spun the prop, it should. Just like you see here. Let me get you right there. Okay, if you watch right here, when I spin the propeller, it should turn the power head over. Okay. Same going the other way. Okay. But when I did that with his, it wouldn't spin over. Well, this is what it's supposed to look like in there. See that? See that big, you got your, your brass splines, and then you got that big, thick rubber deal there that's pressed together. Now, I ask, well, did you hit something? Oh, no. We just run around in the harbors. So, if you can see it, I'm on. Now, where that big rubber ring was, look in there. See them chunk, chunks of rubber there? See it, see it all in there? See that big whole rubber thing's all chewed up. So when I tried to spin the motor over, just the brass thing. You know, it was on the shaft and the prop would spin, but the power head wouldn't spin over. So that's called a spun hub. I could show you there's just chunks of it in there. So that's what was wrong with that one. So I put him a new propeller.
well, uh, new to him, but there's a good one. See the rubber? There's a bad one. See the rubber. So, they hit something and spun it to the prop. So, that's all I had to do to that one. Ain't that a cutie? It's a cutie. That little five and one half long shaft. And this is just here for repair. I don't own it. He said it uh, wouldn't run. He said he uh, said he thinks it's something to do with a carburetor. Who knows? That's a, a points engine, so it could be the points. Could be a combination, probably will be. But isn't that a cutie? I can't remember what year it is. I've got a, a ten horse version of this. I think it's somewhere around '62. So he brought me that five and one half, and then he brought me that little Evinrude six. He says it don't run either. He says he can get it started, but it won't stay running. So we got those two. But I like that little cutie right there. It's a cutie. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. That is one more hack from Kodiak. More vids are on the way on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.